Yamaha has released a new line of acoustic guitars called the Storia series, with an emphasis on unique aesthetics, great playability, and wonderful sound, geared toward the person who is young and interested in learning how to play the guitar. So, let's check out and see what they're all about. Hey everyone, this is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. So, Yamaha has released a new line of acoustic guitars called the Storia series. Now, the Storia series I first got to see uh, kind of at Winter Nam. It wasn't part of their booth. It was kind of another thing. Same time I found out about the awesome Red Label guitars. If you haven't seen those, by the way, you definitely want to follow that link right there and see our review of Yamaha's Red Label guitars. You can find out all the information on our website, alamomusic.com. The Storia series is really different. So whereas the Red Label guitars are all solid guitars, really made for the seasoned player in a vintage aesthetic and vibe with wonderful tone wood and so forth, the Storia is really designed for someone who is young and interested in learning how to play guitar. And a lot of that informs how Yamaha has gone about designing the build structure of the guitar and the aesthetic choices of the guitar. There's three guitars in the lineup. The Storia 1, the Storia 2, and the story of three, or the story of one, the story of B, anyways. So the story of one, two, and three. There's different wood combinations and different aesthetic and finish choices. And there's some unique stuff going on. So the one I'm holding right here, this is the story of one. It has a whitewashed spruce top that's solid, back and sides of laminate mahogany. It's a semi-gloss finish. The inside of the guitar is also finished in a contrasting color which is interesting and unique. It's blue. I dig it. So you have whitewash and you look through the sound hole, blue. There's brass metal bridge pins, uh, which is different. The inlay is very simple, very elegant, um, and again, changes depending upon the model that you're looking at. Open gear tuners, and it has a passive pickup inside of it. Now it's a small kind of folk body similar to their FS and a short scale. The fingerboard edges have also been nicely rolled and the action is phenomenal. So here's what you basically have in a nutshell with all three of these guitars. Each one has a different wood combination and finish combination and finish from a, a gloss, semi-gloss, gloss, or just a color aesthetic. They have contrasting interior finishes so the color changes to complement the outside color. Great playability, wonderful feel, nice response, and a passive pickup. So if you want to sit in your bedroom and play acoustic guitar, plug this in and record with it, it's fantastic for that. If you're starting out and you need something that's really comfortable in the hand, which really you need period, but when you are starting particularly, you are going to be sensitive to a lot of hard angles here, high action, and so forth. Yamaha has made sure that that is completely taken care of with a fantastic playing quick neck. Shortening that scale makes all the frets a little bit closer together, and in typical Yamaha fashion, has wonderful bracing for a great responsive tone. The first thing I notice actually when picking up these guitars is how light they are. That speaks to the simplicity of the interior uh, electronics as well as the lightness of bracing and overall design of the guitar. Light guitars are more resonant guitars, and so you have a winning formula here. The real answer to the question is which one appeals to you? They're all the same price, so it comes down to aesthetic choice and tonal choice. So we're gonna put them through uh, their paces, kind of compare them for you. This is the only spruce top version. The other two have mahogany tops, which is really going to change the dynamic, uh, focus the sound in more of a mid-range, and really round out the compression uh, of the dynamic response that you're going to get. So it's gonna have a warm, round tone. This is gonna have a bit more of a brighter, uh, more piercing tone, a little more triangular shaped than, than uh, circular shaped as we'll hear on the mahogany guitars. And like I said, each one has a different finish. So one's probably going to excite your ears and your eyes. Take a look and listen.
So there you have it. Here are the other two story series as well for you. Different finishes, really cool internal finish, which I've never seen on another acoustic guitar. I'm sure it's happened before. Uh, Semi-gloss, gloss finishes, mahogany, spruce, all sorts of aesthetic touches for you. Whichever one you choose, it's going to be a great playing, comfortable, small body guitar with a wonderful passive pickup in it. So if you'd like more information about the Storia 1, 2, or 3, here's the Storia. Go below, click on the link in the description, and it'll take you right to our website where you can see photos and all of the information about these guitars. So, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us. And if you're new here, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, and like our videos because we put them out for you. Now, whether you see a $300 guitar, $3,000 guitar, or $9,000 guitar on this channel, I want you to know that the best guitar is the one that you're playing in your hands right now. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.